Assalamu alaikum. Hello friends. Welcome to your own channel The Civil Light. Today we are going to discuss different types of slaves on the basis of load transfer mechanism. That are one way slave and two way slave. After watching this video full you will be able to know these things. Definition of one way slave and two way slave. Difference in one way slave and two way slave. Identification of one way slave and two way slave. And also detail about steel distribution in one way slave and two way slave. So without wasting any time let's start today's topic but before that if you are visiting the channel for the first time please click on the subscribe button and be the part of the civilized pen let's start today for topic that is one way slave and two way slave on the basis of load transfer mechanism and how the steel reinforcement is provided the slave can be classified into two classes that is one way slave and two way slave before going deep into the discussion, first we will define what is slave. So slave is the horizontal large plate structural member of the building that is generally subjected to transfer loading is called slave. It is discussed earlier that the slave is divided into two classes that is one way slave and two way slave. We will now discuss it one by one. The first type of slave on the basis of load transfer mechanism is one way slave the type of slave in which the load is transferred only in one direction that is the shorter direction is called one way slave if a slave is supported only on two opposing sides bending will be produced in the direction perpendicular to the support in this case the slave will be termed as one way slave you can see in the picture that the load is only transferred in this shorter direction or shorter span and no load is transferred in this longer direction. It is also visible in the second picture that the bending or deflection is produced only in the shorter span. So this slab can be drawn as one way slab. The second type of slab is two way slab. The type of slab in which the load transfer mechanism occurs in both directions is called two-way slab. If the slab is supported on all four sides, bending will be produced in all directions. In this case, the slab will be termed as two-way slab. You can see in the picture that the load is transferred in the shorter direction as well as the direction perpendicular to it and it is also visible in the picture that the bending is produced in both directions so it is the example of two-way slave. Now we will learn how we will decide that the slave is one-way slave or two-way slave. For this we will define a new term that is aspect ratio the ratio of length of slab to its width is called aspect ratio mathematically we can write that aspect ratio is equal to length of slab divided by its width so the slab for which the aspect ratio is equal to or greater than 2 is called one way slab you can see in this example that the length of the slab is 25 feet and its width is 10 feet so according to the formula aspect ratio is equal to 25 divided by 10 25 is the length of the slab and 10 is the width of the slab so it is equal to 2.5 which is greater than 2 so it is one way slab the slab for which the aspect ratio that is length or width is smaller than 2 is called two-way slab. In this example you can see that the length of the slab is 15 feet while its width is 10 feet. So the aspect ratio according to formula will be 15 divided by 10 which is equal to 1.5 which is less than 2 so this is two-way slab. One-way slab and two-way slab also differ in the steel reinforcement. In one-way slab, 
main bars are only provided in one direction the direction in which bending or deflection occur that is short direction in the direction perpendicular to it only shrinkage or temperature reinforcement is provided shrinkage or temperature or distributor reinforcement is discussed in another video while in two way slab main bars are provided in both direction this all for today thank you very much for watching the video if you have any question regarding the topic please comment it in the comment box i will try to answer all of your question and also do not forget to like comment and share the video thank you very much for your time